Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Welcome to the Daisy PC editor by the amazing Inclement Dab. Now in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can take something that you've created in Daisy editor, so a .dz file, and then convert that to a .vpp file. So if you wanted to, you could uh, get vanilla plus plus admin to spawn it in on your server. But what I'm really interested in is to use it then in VPP to create the coordinates for a group event event and you may want to use this if you find it easier to place events using the day, the pc editor mod or if you've already created um custom objects in daisy editors you, so you've got a daisy, a daisy editor file a dot daisy file and then what you want to do is to create a vpp file so you, then you can go into vpp and create the coordinates for that a map group uh, event or that group event now at the time of recording this video there is no option to export to a map group event um, but by the time you come to watch this video it could be that increment dab has added that feature and once he has this technique I'm using here uh, will be a bit null and void you'll just be able to go to um, file export and it'll probably have something like export to group event or, or, or event group something like that but we don't have that at the moment so what you could do is when you first get started just go file and then open whatever dze file you want to take into vpp to turn into um, a vpp spawn player thing or uh, a group event so in this case i've got a really simple it's, just, it's a shipwreck scenario so the idea is i'm trying to create um, a map group event where as players are wandering along the coast they don't all just come across the normal little boats there's these there's these larger wreckages that have larger lifeboats with more kit in them and they could also swim out to a little bit of the superstructure of a boat and there might be some kit out there um, so so I want to turn this into a map group event so the first thing obviously save it to a .dz or if it's a new day dz you know bring it in bear in mind that at the moment as far as I'm aware map group events or group events all the items all the structures have to be flat so you can make them go up and down so we can make you know we could do this we can make them go up and down um, we can um, spin them around um, and the, and you you know you can move around this way but what you can't do is change the roll the uh, roll and the pitch so you, you can't you know kind of do this with stuff which is a bit of a shame maybe there'll be a workaround soon maybe there is one already and i just don't know so you just got to make sure that you, when you're placing everything it, it is flat also obviously if you're importing an existing .dze file and you've done all these fancy things to make things match then that might might not work great in the um in the group event you might have to do some editing first so anyway so we got to this stage it's all saved so all we need to do now is you go file export and export to dot vpp so there we go so export to vpp and um, i've already got mine sort of set up so i've just called it second shipwreck and i've just put vpp on the end so i know where it is and then i'd click export and that would then export it and then what we can do is we can shut down editor so we exit from this exit from that let that shut down and then you need to find um, where your editor uh, stores its files now generally it'll be where your games store their stuff so for example on my computer daisy editor stores its stuff inside c users scale so my name document and then daisy and then there's editor so we go in there and there we've got second shipwreck vpp dot vpp so once you find that you can then copy that then you need to go to where your daisy server is your local server that you're going to be messing around with um, and this one is and uh, my computer is under c program files x86 steam steam apps common and then we're going to go into here and then we're going to go into the uh, config file the uh, config uh, folder now it might be called profiles it might be called settings it's the one where your mods save all the information they need and then we go down to vpp admin tools we go into configurable plugins go into building set manager and you just paste that in there and as you see i've already got it there second ship vpp vpp so what this means is when we fire up the server with the vpp running as a mod it will spawn these items in anyway but we will also have access to them as a building set so let me show you so let's come out of here 
let's fire up my local server there we go with vanilla plus plus let's go into the launcher it's gonna be a LAN let's just make sure let's join VPP Zombri community framework excellent and we'll load in um, and so what we're going to see is we, when we're going to load in we're going to see the objects are going to be there already because VPP plus is going to see that file and go all right let's load these these items in um, and you know you could run like that but they're just kind of static items there where what I'm trying to create is I'm trying to get the coordinates for a uh, a, a, a group event um, and you'll be familiar if you've worked them already group events kind of look um, like this so this is the group event for a military convoy so you have the initial object which in this case is the rack of a, uh, the wreck of a BRDM um, and the coordinates for that are the same as the uh, event spawn coordinates for this event group and then everything else is all relative to that first event so it's all plus or minus X and X and Z and rotation see the problem with the problem with that is that it's very difficult to, to do it. That's why we're using VP++ because at the moment it's the only thing that I've come across that has the ability to export um, that particular format. So here we are. So as you can see, we're, we're on the beach. It spawned in those stuff. So let me just put on God mode so I don't get killed by accidentally. Let me just turn off turn on vanilla++. Plus plus. There it is. And now if we turn on the object builder what you should see is at the top the second shipwreck VPP so this is the VPP file we created in Daisy editor so if we click that you'll see they've all got their um, squares next to them now so what we could do is let's go into can we go into free cam mode if I can remember how to go into free cam there we go we're in free cam mode now so what we can do now is we can now select these items so if we select the first one and then use control left click we can select them all or actually I think if you go into normal mode I th oh no we didn't want to do that you can select them like click and drag but I'm not sure I'll do that so I'm not gonna not gonna try so we're gonna use the control click method so we've got all these selected using control click you can see they've all been highlighted now what you do is you type control shift P and they've been taken to the clipboard so if I now go back to notepad plus plus where I've got like a little uh, open file if I then paste these in here we can see that vanilla vanilla plus plus admin has now given us the um, the event group coordinates that we needed so we've got the 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 first bit here that's the that would be the um, event spawn uh, coordinates which is also the position for the static object wreck shot ship big lifeboat so the first thing and then we've got the other things that are relative to it as well and that makes it really easy so then you've then got to you know add the things to the anything that's in here that isn't in types add it to types create your uh, new event create a new event spawn create the event groups with this right names um, maybe play around with the map group proto if you need to and then you've got your group and that is uh, pretty cool so it, it's very good for people who are more comfortable with placing objects using daisy editor than they are with placing objects using the builder in um, uh, vanilla plus plus so to give you an idea of what it may well look like if you import a large thing let's go to Cinestock and show you something where i've converted a large dot dze sort of custom json here we go this is where it would be here we go so what you've got here go to free camp so this in effect is a custom json that i made in daisy editor um just to spawn as a, as a custom json on console and pc servers um as you can see but what you could do because i've exported this to a dot vpp if we go into the object builder you can see that i've got it as an object builder thing so we can click that one there and now see it's, it's all the objects is it gonna let me no, so let me do it so what we could then do now is we could then select all of these bits and then create a, a group event so we could do something like this i don't think you can shift click yet i'll have to uh, so Dewan has made this amazing mod. I have to ask him to add that in. Just 
Just bear with. Bear with. So we've selected all of those. So now I can do Control Shift P. Go to our little notepad here and paste them in with Control V. Oh, did I uh, press something wrong? Control Shift P. So that's copied. And Control V. There we go. So there we have the um, event group coordinates for that entire thing. So you could have an, uh, a dynamic event that spawned in a castle. Now, a castle probably isn't the best example, but you could means you could then have these quite complex structures that would be random events that people would come across on their map, um, which I think is a really cool thing. And, and you've just got to kind of use your imagination and think, okay, what could that be? Could it be like an island in the middle of a lake? Could it be a new island that's off the edge of, that's in the sea? And you could pretend that that, that island is only appearing at low tide and that's why it's there. Um, you, you could go, sp often less is more. So you could have small things that look like they maybe they were created by players or survivors. So, um, you know, new roadblocks, new little bases that look like they've been created. And again, because they're random, because they're not all the time there all the time, players can't farm them in the way that they can farm if you were to create a custom JSON, where that, in this case, where this castle is there all the time, so people can go there. I mean, the disadvantage, obviously, if it's an event and it's a big object like a castle, you don't <laughs> you don't want people coming here and then thinking, oh, I'm going to build a base here, and then the castle disappearing on them. That wouldn't be very good. Um, but there we go. Um, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.